The most requested feature by all of the DSM community is finally here, the multivariation support. Today, we're going to talk about what are multivariations, how can you use them to grow your business, and how do you use them in DSM tool. So in the upcoming minutes, we're going to go over a couple of subjects. We're going to understand what are multivariations, we're going to understand how listing multivariations is going to help you save money and giving, give you higher availability for your products. We're going to talk about the sales history. What is it and how does it get, how is it being centered in one place when you're listing multivariations? We're going to talk about cross selling. What is it and how can you use that when you use it, when you are listing multivariations? And we're going to talk about how does it look like in DSM tool when you're trying to list multivariations? And I'm gonna end up with a tip about increasing your profits automatically with pricing strategy, which is very much relevant for that, for that feature as well. I do wanna mention that this video follows a great article by Stacy Reeves, our writer. It's at blog.dsmtool.com, so please consider going to the blog, subscribing. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe to the channel. If it's a Facebook watch party, comment. We're live in the chat. If not, leave us a comment below. Like, share, post, repost, all of those things. Thank you very much. All right, let's go right to it. Let's understand first what are multivariations. Multivariations is when uh, you have different sizes or different colors and it's all in the same product page, in the same listing if it's eBay or the same product page if it's Shopify, etc., etc. Pretty is simple, pretty straightforward. Let's move on to understand how are we going to make money out of that out of listing multivariations. And I'm gonna be specific today about eBay, but some of those aspects are relevant for online sellers in general, no matter where you're selling. All right. First point is higher availability and lower costs. What do I mean by that? Let's start with lower costs. On eBay and sometimes on other platforms, you have something called insertion fee. I'm not going to talk about insertion fee today. I could do a whole other video about how, the, how do you pay as a seller to eBay and what are the different fees, but insertion fees uh, is one of those. And when you list multivariations, instead of listing each one of those variants by itself, you save money by putting all of them into a single listing and paying only once for that listing. It's more than that. If you would list all those variants one by one differently, uh, that would cause... Uh, in, after 30 days, eBay renews the insertion fees, and that would cause some of your listings, if they would be out of stock, for example, to be paid an insertion fee for an item that is completely out of stock. With multivariations, that doesn't happen. Okay, if we're already talking about out of stock, so I took that item that you see in that slide, that's an item from the first page uh, of, of the eBay results, I mean, the, the first search results. And that item has one variant which is out of stock. If you would work really hard for that variant to bring it to the first page of eBay, uh, and then it would go out of stock, that would crash that, that you would no longer be on the first page. And therefore, listing multivariants all at once uh, is very useful in that sense, because if you did manage to get, for example, to the first uh, page in the search result, you will stay there even though if one of the variants goes out of stock. All right, so that's about higher availability and lower costs. Let's further understand how can it help you. There is something called sales history on eBay. Sales history means that when you sell an item, it does two things. First, on eBay side, it does promote. eBay understands, the eBay algorithm understands that there is a selling item, there is demand for that item, it's a great item, it will promote it. There is more chance that you will sell an item after it already was sold once. And for the buyer, on the other hand, a buyer that goes into a listing can see if this item was sold before. The more that the item was sold, the more trust the uh, buyer gains. Uh, it, it, there are a lot of parameters like the feedbacks of the account and all kinds of other things, but this is a very important parameter. And when you list all the variants separately, uh, each one of them will have his own sale history. But here, when you're listing multivariations, all of them will have the sales history because it's counted per listing and not per variant. That means that it's enough that one of those variants would sell or another variant would sell and they promote each other, which is great. All right. It's pretty straightforward, this thing with variations. Let's move on to cross-selling. What is cross-selling? Let's understand. It's a, it's a concept that says that when you list multivariations, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you in a second how it looks like on eBay, um, 
like on the search results. But when you list multi uh, variations, you can set different prices to the different variations. And then if someone went into your listing trying to purchase some variant thinking about like a price of the, or the price that he saw was of, of one of the variants. And now he's looking for another variant. He could, you, the variant that he, they first looked for and the price that they first looked for might change and become a higher price or a more profitable price if it's a, you know, you know what I mean. And that's a great opportunity for one of the variants to promote each other. So actually, the buyer went to buy one of those variants, but now he's already in your listings, he already knows who you are, he sees your feedbacks, maybe he sees the template that you set uh, to that listing, and now he just chose another variant, it costs a little more, I mean, it happens, maybe it's a bigger size, maybe it's a different color that looks more beautiful, you know, I mean, when iPhone releases different colors, sometimes they have different prices. I mean, when Apple does that. So it's the same concept in here. And now he's already in your listing and there is a higher chance that he will uh, purchase that item. Here is, here is how it looks on eBay. Um, on the search result, you can see that they, the buyers can see the range of the prices. I do want to give a tip here, which is don't try to mess with that too much because if you're trying to list like two products in one bundle and then you put, you can see it sometimes on wish.com for those of you who are familiar with that platform. They publish like a variant that is, actually it's also on eBay, I think. Um, they publish a variant that is like a really, really low price and then they add to it a completely different product. Uh, that they're actually trying to say and sell and they use the title of the uh, of the more expensive product and the price range starts from the variant which is not like which is something else which is not a real product like trying to sell an iPhone and putting as one of the variants only the iPhone case and then it would show for like five bucks instead of you know 700 I know it's a little bit of extreme example but that's what I mean if you play with that you are violating uh, uh, eBay's selling policy and uh, this is like a hardcore violation and it we it could cause you know anything that eBay does when when there is a hard uh, violation of their policies so we do not suggest to do that but we do suggest you to try to play a little bit with the prices and set a little bit higher prices for variants that make sense to be sold for a little bit higher price and then the, you already earned the customer he's in your listings there is a chance that he'll buy something that will give you a higher profitability so that was about cross-selling. I do want to say a few words about how does it look like in DSM tool. I'm going to make it very short because there is both a, a how-to video that you can watch. Maybe it's already uploaded. If not, we're going to upload it in the upcoming days. And in the help center, there are a lot of articles. I'm going to talk about it. But we did create a, a new design for the DSM tool rapid lister. So please check it out and you know comment. Tell us if you like it. If you don't like it, what can we add to it? In it, you can... Uh, when you put the item URL or you're using DSM auto paste to, 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 you know, to bring item, to, to source items, um, make sure that you click the include all variations if you want all of the variations to be included in that listing. And then when you move on, when you import the, the information of the listing, you will see that also inside the lister, we have redesigned the lister. We actually worked with a, um, user experience specialist, we keep doing it all the time. We're improving the user experience of DSM tool all the time. And uh, we've recreated the most important page, the lister page. And if you scroll down, you'll find out the variations part where you can edit basically most of the parameters that has to do with the variations. And it's very simple, very intuitive, very easy to remove variants that you don't want to sell um, and anything that has to do with that. And, and even more, after you list the item, after you list, like the listing is live on eBay in, the, in that case, um, in the price monitor to make it simple for you, instead of showing a bunch of rows for each one of the variants immediately, when you, when you go to the price monitor, you will only see the main variant. And then you'll see a small expand button that if you click on that button, then it opens up all the rest of the variants and allows you to edit either each one of them or all of them together all about how to exactly work with the, the, the variations in DSM tool. I highly suggest you to go to the DSM tool help center. It's at support.dsmtool.com. Our team has worked really hard to make sure that everything is documented. 
We are documenting the entire software. Every button in the software that you could find, you can find how, how to use it and what the hell is that button in our help center. So please go there. I think there are more than four articles only about variations, how to use them, how to edit variations, common questions, what do we support, what do we not support. All of that is over there. I'm not going to talk about it here today. I'm here to give you tips. So that's about how to work uh, with, you know, in DSM with variations. I do want to end up uh, this video with another tip, and that tip has to do with uh, another feature in DSM tool that is called the pr pricing strategy or repricing strategy. And what that tool allows you to do is it counts the days or it, it counts, sorry, the, the amount of uh, uh, times that the listing sold or that the, the variant sold, that's, that's more correct. And then it can, once the variant sold, let's say either each one, one or two or three times, it automatically increases the price of that variant because it recognizes that there is demand in the market for that variant and that people are buying it and therefore it could allow you to make more profit and it automatically rises the price. It works also the other way around. If an, a variant doesn't sell for X days, you can set it to reduce the, the it, it works with the profit margin. So you would either higher, uh, you know, increase the profit margin or reduces the profit margin. And that could help you either to set the right price for the market in order to be able to sell initially better, or if your item is already selling, if that specific variant is already selling, um, then it would increase the profit, making you more profitable. So that's it for today. I hope that this video wasn't too long. I'm trying to make the videos to the point. Uh, thank you for joining me today. Please consider to subscribe, to like us, to comment. We really want to hear what you guys have to say about it. Have you tried using the uh, multivariations? Tell us how was your experience. See you in the next video. See you next time.